Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll learn one of the very important use case that is highlighting your current monthly sales. So often these days, clients are requesting that you know, they want to highlight the current month data in their report. So as you can see on my screen, this is my expectation and this is dynamic. So whatever the current month is based on that, only that part of your report will be highlighted. Others will remain as is. So specifically, if you are using cross-tab report, this will be very much useful. And on top, you are seeing whatever the data that is being shown, it is also reflecting the month and year of that. So let us try to build this. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm taking order date here and uh, I'm converting it into month and I'm taking region here as a dimension and I'm taking sales as my standard measure. So for now, I'm restricting my data only for particular year, that is 2021. Sorry, taking order of date here, yes. Next, select 2021, click apply. Okay, now we got data for 2021, fine. Now let us write a calculation here. So I'm writing here as uh, current month sales, okay? So here what I'm doing is, so while we, we can write this calculation in many ways, I'm writing it this way. So first we need to get the current date here or today's date. So either you can use the field that is available in your database or we can also refer using this today function, which will get us today's date. So using this, what I'm doing is I'm getting year from this. So for that, I'm converting this into year of today function, which will get me current year, and it should be equal to our date field here. So I'm also taking year from that date field that we have to refer to. And now we have validated year. So we are getting current year, fine. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking and, and I'm matching my month here. Month with respect to our today. And same, I'm validating it with month of my date field that I have to refer. Okay, so if it is valid, click on apply, okay. And then what I'm doing is I'm dropping it on color shelf here. So now you see we got two here. So just to highlight that background cell, I'm doing formatting here. I'm converting this into square, we got it. Now, uh, you might have seen different ways of, you know, uh, bringing this cell, increasing the size and, you know, coloring your background cell. So I'm just showing you a different way here. Just give double quote on rows and columns. Now you don't have to create any dummy field. Now if you increase automatically, size will get adjusted, okay? Now what I'm doing is I'm just, for false, I don't want any color, so I'm just double clicking here and selecting white. And for true, I want green. Now you see, only that part we are highlighting here. So we can remove these codes because they are just for our formatting to work perfectly. Now we got current month sales. If you see, it is highlighting for October, which is our current month and 2021. It is highlighting for that month. So it is dynamic. So whatever the current month is there, it will work. So now we can put this in our dashboard and show it to the client. Maybe. Okay. Let me decrease the height here and I'll make it uh, entire view. Okay. Yeah, so now according to this, if you see here, I also want to show the current month or the date for which it is displaying the data. So now here I'm writing uh, a different calculation here. So what I'm doing is observe now here. So displaying data for current month. So I'm just writing my text label as this. Now I'm writing displaying data for 
now i am concatenating it with our date name and getting uh, month from this month from our today today function so using today function and then what i am doing is i am also getting it here Uh, let me write as of plus. I'm writing year of my today function. Simple. We got some errors. Let us check what is that here. String and integer value. So I'm converting the output of this into string format here because our date name function, which is this, is already in string format. So now it is valid. I'll take this apply okay now again i'm limiting my order date only for 2021 here apply okay and now i'm just dropping that field here on my label okay so see here displaying data for october of 2021 so let us adjust some spaces here you don't see any extra spaces so I'm just adding one extra space here and here. And uh, yeah, that should work. So let us see. Yeah. Right. So I'm just aligning here to the center and here also center. Now let us go to our dashboard. I'm just increasing my height here because I want to adjust that. Now I'll bring in that sheet and drop it on top. Hide the title or whatever the unwanted labels that we have and got it now to get exactly how we did it in earlier thing maybe we can add borders here same for this i'm adding borders here so yeah so pretty much that's it that's it from my side in this video hope you like it please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day bye bye